In this video, we're going to be creating some nodes and then coding to them. So let's first review what we've got already entered into the file. We've got several sources, that is, I've got surveys, and when I click on the surveys, you see I've got three different documents that are surveys that families have created. And then I'm going to look to see what nodes we have existing, and I've already created some nodes for the first question, which is how many times did you read the books to your child? I created a parent node that's called Times Read, and then five child nodes, one time, two times, three times, four times, and so forth. So I, I want to come down and I want to, I want to begin to think about how would we create nodes for this fourth question. The question is, how does your family complete the family response journal? What are some of the ways that your family responds in the family response journal? So I, I think I want to create a parent node that's called something like journal process. And so to do that, I know that I want that to be at the top level of the hierarchy. So I need to come over to my nodes folder and click on nodes so that the node will be at the top of the hierarchy. Then one way to create a node is to come to the create tab and just simply to click node and we'll, we'll get a, a dialog box here and we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it journal process. And I think I'm going to give it a description. And the reason why we put descriptions in, that's uh, where we can create our code book from. It'll, it'll give the, the definition for the, for the particular node. And this one I'm going to use just the text from the question four. I'm going to call it question four. How does your family complete, complete the family response journal? I do want the, the child nodes to be aggregated underneath it, so that means anything I put underneath it will also be coded to this parent node. So I'm going to click Aggregate Coding from Child Nodes and then OK. Here's our node that we've just created. And we're going to come down to create the first child node that underneath. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to read the text and decide what sort of new node we need because we don't really have any nodes created there. So let's just read the first part. It says, we sat down on the floor and I read aloud along with the CD. So there's actually two pieces of information there. The first one has to do with location. So a really good way to create nodes while you're coding is to highlight the part that you want to, to code to a new node. Then come up to the Analyze tab and do Code Selection at New Node. This gives you a box where you can create the new node right here and it will automatically code to it. So we're going to call this Floor and we're going to put Location where reading occurred and we're going to say OK. OK, so What's happened here is that we've created a new node, but notice that it's at the top level of the hierarchy, and that's not really where I want it. Actually, I want that to go under journal process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move, move that node under so that it's a child under journal process by highlighting it and just dragging and dropping. You'll see the little plus sign there underneath, and now it, it appears as a as a child node. But you know, actually, I sort of think there could be more location there could be more locations than just floor. So maybe I should have another subnode of journal process that is just simply called location. And then floor will be one of the choices. So I'm gonna, in order to make a child node of journal process, I'm gonna click on journal process and then I'm gonna right click while well, it's all highlighted to have it all highlighted to do this. I'm going to right click and it gives us another option to create new node and when I do it's going to be a child node of this one that this highlighted blue. So I'm going to create location and tell it OK. Now both location and floor are located underneath as child nodes at the same level of journal process and that's not what I intend. I really want floor to be one of the sub nodes of location so I can rearrange that too. So I'm going to click on floor and just drag and drop it underneath location and now you can see I'm beginning to have a hierarchy here. Um, it's a little hard for us to see them all because they're up here and so you may decide that you'd rather have the the screen laid out a little differently. Uh, and if you go to the View menu and click on Detail View, you may decide that you'd rather have these um, 
uh, that you rather have your nodes going along the left hand side. I always think that's easier actually. And so I can resize the window by dragging and dropping and I can have a nice list of, where I can see my nodes quite nicely up and down here as well as be able to code. So let's read on. Uh, we've already coded and sat down on the floor and I read aloud along with the CD. Well, I need a new, I need a new code for that too. So I'm going to put read aloud along with the CD. I'm going to um, code selection at a new node above as I did just a minute ago and I'm going to call it read with CD. Uh, click OK. And I've not only created the new node but I've also coded here. And if I want to be able to see um, where I've coded then I can look at view and turn on coding stripes. You see them right here. Click coding stripes and I'll put nodes recently coded and you can see that it that it's created a color for each of the nodes and it shows where they've been coded. So uh, we sat down on the floor and I read a ladder both on the same line so you see them both here. There's read with the CD and there's floor. Okay and if that's sort of taking up too much space, which I think it is, I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually turn coding stripes off so that I don't have to look at that the whole time. 